Hi peeps, my name is Zena and I'm Aging Ethically and I have been watching Rob Zombie movies nonstop for about a month now. <laughs> I'm going to be recreating a look from a very specific scene from the movie Three From Hell. This is the third film in the cult classic Firefly family massacre of films, House of a Thousand Corpses, Devil's Rejects, and now Three From Hell, which was released last year. So sit back, relax, grab a drink, and watch me transform into this Three From Hell Halloween Rob Zombie look. You may have already guessed, I am doing a sugar skull. I'm starting off with some Mayron Fantasy FX cream makeup in white. It does not have to be perfect because it's meant to look like the makeup left on from the night before. So it can be a little bit messy. Now that this cream makeup has dried, I'm gonna set it with some Makeup Revolution Translucent Powder. My cream makeup is set and now I'm going to start the fun part, which is actually creating the designs for the sugar skull. I'm going to get busy with this NYX suede lip liner in Copenhagen and I'm going to do my best to recreate this sugar skull for you guys. Hopefully you've seen the movie and I will explain to you briefly without giving any spoilers away why I appreciated this scene so much and why it really speaks to me. Dia de los Muertos, which is the Day of the Dead. It's a celebration of life and death. While the holiday originated in Mexico, it's celebrated all over Latin America with colorful calaveras, which are skulls, and calacas, which are skeletons. It's celebrated from October 31st to November 2nd. To set this scene, which has inspired me so much, the evening before the Devil's Rejects, uh, or I guess the uh, Three from Hell, enjoyed an evening of debauchery, I guess, in Mexico, celebrating the Day of the Dead. The following morning, they're in for quite a big surprise as the Black Satans finally catch up with them in this little town. Now this lady opens her window. She still has her makeup on from the night before. She's still celebrating the Day of the Dead. And she witnesses the Black Satans approaching her little village. The expression on her face is so perfect. She's utterly terrified. She had just been enjoying the festivities from the night before. And now she's about to witness a massacre. To me, it's almost kind of like a metaphor for 2020. You know, she spent all night putting her makeup on and having a great time and she's celebrating into the next day. She opens up her window and all hell breaks loose. We all had grand hopes for 2020 and it has become a nightmare of a year without being too negative, but definitely stating the obvious. So this scene really speaks to me. It's very telling. It's, to me, it's a critical moment in the film where it shifts into something really, really dark. And this is it. It's very simple, but to be quite honest with you, it wasn't really that easy. Uh, there's a lot of detail that you have to pay attention to. This part's a little bit crooked, but like I said, this wasn't supposed to be perfect. This was supposed to look like I celebrated the Day of the Dead all night into the small hours of the morning, and this is what my makeup looks like the next day. Thank goodness, because this was a lot harder to do than I thought it was going to be. But I think it's a pretty good first attempt at a sugar skull. I hope, by the way, doing this look isn't going to get me in trouble. So if this is cultural appropriation to you, I am very sorry, this is not my intent. Uh, but this is just a celebration of the Day of the Dead. This is a celebration of Rob Zombie films as well. And this is a celebration of Mexico. I live right on the border in Arizona and I would love to actually 
for real celebrate the Day of the Dead in Mexico one day very soon. I'm gonna insert some still shots side by side with a scene from Three From Hell and my look that I've created and hopefully I did a pretty good job. You guys know I love Rob Zombie films. Every year I do a look from one of his movies and I love his style. I love the way he tells a story. I love the actors that he hires as well his wife, Sherry Moon Zombie. She's in a lot of his films. And you know what, guys? He's a vegan and a very outspoken one in that. And so is Sherry Moon. And I love them so much for that. So thank you so much for joining me, you guys. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Mwah.